of this one is slightly more sensible. Hello, hello there. And welcome to the circle. How hello. can we help you? What's your name, please? Uh, hello, my name is Paul. Hello, Paul. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Lovely to have your energy on the show. How can we help you? Um, uh, it's a career question, really, more than anything. Okay. Um, uh, I, I, my, my job at the moment, I'm a little bit unsure as to whether or not I should continue with what I'm doing. Yes. Can we ask you what you actually do for a living, Paul? I, I, I work. I work with a, with a lot of people. Um, I mean, I, I'm sort of a, a sort of people person, if I could just say that. But I, I, I'm feeling more drawn to, uh, to to working maybe with animals or in a zoo or something like oh. that. I don't know whether I don't know whether it should be people or animals. Ah, oh. you know, when when I get you know asked a question like this, and someone's at that kind of you know space in life where they're really questioning what they're doing you know I always say obviously you've got to think of all the practicalities you can't just jump into something without making sure that everything's going to be okay but for me once you've thought everything practically through in your mind and you know that you're in a position on every level to make a decision I'd say make that um, decision with your heart you know because life's too short isn't it to be doing something that may not be satisfying or nourishing us anymore well, I feel fulfilled I mean what I'm doing I feel fulfilled but but I, I just feel that they you know that maybe there, there, sh there could be more well you know we've just mentioned this lovely guy Bernard who's created his own animal sanctuary and there are a lot more people doing that kind of thing and really putting themselves into something that really gives them you know, another level of satisfaction. It's, it's just a beautiful thing to do. So really, I think if you're drawn to animals, then pursue all options. Have a really, really good look. I'm going to pass you across to Leslie now for your, your intuitive reading. Hi there, Paul. Right, there's something extremely spiritual about you because you actually come up as the King of Cups, okay? Um, so whether you have sort of uh, abilities in terms of what, what, what we're doing here on the show yourself, it absolutely wouldn't surprise me. It also indicates as well that there are very, very many healing qualities around yourself as well. And I think this is where the dissatisfaction, if you like, that, that little, yeah, you, you, there's nothing here that indicates, you, you know, your work life is unhappy, but there's just a little bit of something that's not quite fulfilled. Do you understand me? Yes, no, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. Exactly. So we, it's just a question here. Um, uh, 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 you see, this would very 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 spiritual i mean have you um considered voluntary work with animals in yeah. like in like almost I, like a rescue I could, I could do i could do that um that that would be that would be a good, a good idea and um, what sort of what sort of thing uh, uh, would, would you would you recommend where, where about, in? whereabouts are you in the country uh i'm i'm in uh, just just outside uh, manchester well, I'm sure there would be dog rescue centres or an absolutely, you know, something like Battersea Dog Trained and you know, cat rescue centres. That would be great because I have a, I have a, I have a van, so I could use my van. Oh. How fabulous would that be? You see, I, I, even, you know, you don't know what this could lead to. You yeah. know, in terms of working for the RSPCA, in I was terms just of working for the RSPCA. Yeah, you don't yeah. absolutely know what this could lead to. I often think if we start to sow the seed, and that thought, we sow that, that, that thought seed, what we've often got to do is we've got to nurture it, we've got to water it, we've got to make sure the soil is good, you know. And this is when out the, the seeds begin to grow, and, and actually what we're thinking about starts to become about. But we've got to nurture the thoughts, you know, that there is something very, very, very spiritual about you something very naturally healing about you as well and, and and the voluntary work i think would be fabulous and then you do not know what that's actually going to lead to further down the line i have yeah, a question for you sorry to interrupt you there do you ever get told that you sound like philip schofield no ah oh, well you certainly do in my ears most definitely i don't know who is he who is he? He's a fabulous presenter on a daytime show. Gorgeous, lovely, sweet man. Okay. So he sounds just like him. Well, anyway. listen, Paul, I hope that helps you. Yes, um, thank you. Well, I really do hope it helps you, and we have somebody else on the line. Indeed, indeed. Thank you for calling the show, Paul, and good luck. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, there.